Well, here we are, folks. We're back in the saddle, so to say. Uh, we've both been kicked out of our, our respective homes, and uh, we are now in a remote location in Nebraska. The, uh, Undisclosed location. Undisclosed and remote location in Nebraska, uh, which we are entitling the Truth Point Studios as of right now. Uh, we also live here. We have uh, the Truth Point outhouse set up. We have the Truth Point uh, irrigation chamber. We have the Truth Point. Uh, there's a. We have a chemical toilet, not a real toilet, a chemical toilet, which uh, breaks down our urine and feces. It's kind of like an, an area, you can tell there used to be like a dog chained up there. It uh, absorbs it into the acid and makes it, you know, not stink. Or... So, well, there's a chain there and you, there's like a path where clearly it was running back and forth. So that's kind of like the truth point, uh, you know, dog. Yeah, it's like area. the mascot of the show. Yeah. And uh, most importantly, we got Larry back. I, uh, you know, I uh, was digging through the, uh, the, the the receptacle in the uh, behind the studio, the old studio. And, not not uh, the chemical toilet. No, not the chemical toilet. Uh, and uh, I found him. He was in a dumpster. They just left him there, uh, you know, like a piece of shit. And I saw a rat, a single rat. He was like standing uh, on top of the portrait. He was raising his little hind leg, like he was gonna take a like a urination right on top of Larry's head. And you know, I dove in there, I grabbed it before he could piss on it, and uh... Rat, rats uh, piss kind of like dogs, is what you're saying. Yeah, but, but they're tiny versions. Actually, I don't, I don't really need to be... <clears throat> I don't really need to... Well, can we not talk about urine or COVID or 9-11 or Jeffrey Epstein today? We, we, we want to talk about something nice. That's all next week. We want to talk about something I, I that also want like. I also want to say, uh, you know, this being... This is called Truth Point Phase 3. What's it called? Ascension Rising, Ascension, uh, Ascension Phoenix. Uh, this is this is the new standard. This okay, Every, new everything normal. before that was that was shit. That's, that's not canon. Get rid of it. That's not canon. We're deleting that shit. It's it's not going to be on the servers. It's gone. By it's morning, gone. it's all going to be gone. Yeah. It's absolutely going to be gone. So we can do all those topics all over again. Okay? That's right. It's like we never tackled them because we uh, we really didn't because no. we. You know, you were in, where were you, Ecuador? Yeah. You were in, uh... I was in the, uh, Ecuadorian the embassy. embassy. You were in the Ecuadorian embassy in, in, in England. The United Kingdom. I was in a undisclosed location, not this undisclosed location, but a separate undisclosed location. Mom's house. Well, they don't know where she lives. It's undisclosed, isn't it? Sure. And so it just, it really, it really didn't have the magic of, you know, being here in the same room. And, uh, you know, I've had, I've had all my shots. I had all the secret shots that they're not uh, distributing to the public yet. And, uh, I mean, you, you're probably going to die soon anyway, so it's not really, I'm not, I'm not endangering you. COVID doesn't scare me. You know, I take my vitamins every day. Wait, did we introduce ourselves? That's your job. You have to do that. They know who the fuck I am. They and Truthbot. And Truthbot. They, Truthbot. I am hey. Truthbot. I live Truthbot's inside also... of the computer. Truthbot is in the studio with us. Thank you. We uh, salvaged Truthbot from the wreckage of we're, the previous show. We're looking at the, yes. the little tower right now. We got him. We got him. Pretty Ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen, we got him. Uh, and uh, so we're we're happy to begin this this new uh, phase. That's right. We don't have we don't have pop filters yet, pop filters yet. Um, but uh, we're we're slowly building out. We don't have any filters, folks. Uh, this, Everything we this say bunker. is raw. If anybody wants to send us, you know, there's some things we need. We need some uh, those tablets you take because we've been drinking a lot of pond water, and I don't know if there's like the chemical toilets running off into that or something. Uh, my stomach hurts. Well, it's kind of a pond like attached to a swamp area, so I don't know if that's good. You kind of just you can skim off. Well, that, well, what I what I believed or what I was taught was that the top layer of any uh, any body of water is clean because all the bacteria bacteria kind of uh, Bill Gates drinks it on stage. The bacteria sink, so 
the bottom, you can skim the top off, and that's... Yeah, you just get a just, spoon. And, that's just know, soup. Like the good part of the, the skin of the pudding. Yeah, it's that's green. It's got some uh, film on it. That's yeah. soup. You can drink that. That's right. Uh, but it is giving us diarrhea. Uh, so if you could send us some water purification tablets or, uh, you know, maybe some axes, we we could we could maybe build something out of wood. Yeah, some uh, centrum silver. Oh yeah, yeah. We need to get our biotin. That's right. Yeah. Um, some Excedrin. Some uh, DNA booster eye drops. Yeah. If you have anything, any kind of medicine, we can huff. You know, make our lungs stronger. Some kind of like gaseous form of uh, gaseous centrum silver, centrum gold. You know, you get those uh, Pringles. You know, we love we love the Pringles. Once you pop, you can't stop. We'll uh, we'll take them. Well, I mean, like you know, pretty much any brands watching this. I mean, I don't know. I don't know if you got the fucking um, who's that brand on Twitter? The guy that's uh fucking annoying, Sausage Man or whatever. It's Sausage, sausage yeah. Man. Yeah, bring us uh, the sausage. Uh, you know, get, it right ship, to our ship house. us some of that sausage. I will, we'll eat it. Uh, I don't even give if a fuck. If haven't pissed you off yet, if you I don't care if it's trash from uh, your sponsorship list. Because I, I tell you what, we've been eating uh, fowl. Bring we, it on. We've been like uh, we've been capturing little birds with nets. I think they're bug catching nets. That's what they're supposed to be used for. You can, you can catch anything in them. You can catch, you know. Well, all, all we've been catching is birds. Big enough. All we've been catching is birds, and uh, you know, you try to get all the feather. The thing they never tell you about a bird is you think you just you can just rip all the feathers out. Uh, they got feathers inside them, folks. They you, do. you 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 pluck the feathers off the outside of them. You put them in the oven to bake. You you bite into it, start chewing. You got fucking feathers in your mouth. I don't know how oh, they yes. get them in there. I guess they're eating feathers. Nasty, nasty stuff. Cannibalizing themselves. There's there's nothing in this undisclosed location uh, worth eating. It's hell, absolute hell. So what are we going to be talking about on the show today? Uh... Fuck, can I do the... Do you do... Do this up? Five. No, G. Yes. Kind of like this. Oh, here it is. Uh, truth bot? Yeah. You can't do that. You're doing gang symbols. You're not allowed to do those. No. Uh, we're talking about 5G, and uh, to introduce the topic, we have a special treat. Um... Correspondent Summer has survived uh, the initial wave of the uh, coronavirus plague, yep. and will be presenting a uh, a piece to us, a a remote on location piece. From a, a different undisclosed location. I think it's Montreal. From the one that you used to live at, and the one that we're currently at. A third, a third, lo- a fourth location, I guess. We're not disclosing any of these locations, folks. You'll have to find them on your own uh, time. Roll. Roll the food. Hey guys, Correspondent Summer here, ready to take a deep dive into the topic of 5G. There's a lot of talk about 5G, but not a lot of action. Now, we've all heard the stories. 5G gives you cancer, uh, it eats away at your brain, uh, 5G killed my son, 5G killed my dog, my neighbor got all jacked up on 5G and killed my dog. So, as a field reporter, when I got the call, I'm thinking it's my duty to experiment and get down and dirty with the real stuff. As you can see, I have six cell phones strapped to my head, and I'm up here at a high elevation so I can get a maximum hit from the cell phone towers. What I'm about to do is take a lifetime worth of 5G radiation straight to the dome in a matter of seconds. This is historic. Nobody has ever attempted this before. I feel safe and secure. I'm ready to get to the other side no matter what happens. And that's what real journalism is about, you know? I'd, I'd like to see the New York Times try to dip their paws into something like this. put me through hell and back. Hey guys, Correspondent Summer here. Um, nothing really happened after that. Uh, I felt kind of sick for a couple days. I had a little bit of uh, a nosebleed problem, but uh, you know, I'm doing really good. I'm very mentally good. I'm actually doing better than ever before. I've been like, 
FaceTiming John Travolta every night before bed, and it's 4K, crystal clear, no interruptions. I can see every pore on his face. I've been streaming on all cylinders, you know? Like, I've been watching more shows than ever before. I've got, like, five TVs in here. I'm watching, like, five shows right now. I've been, you know, I've been streaming on all cylinders. Been... Now I'm streaming on all cylinders. Hey, guys. Uh, I've been, uh telepathically ordering Uber Eats every night. Telepathically ordering Uber Eats every night. 5G's been helping me fight off PC culture. Been getting the best ads I've ever seen in my life. I'm getting the best ads I've ever seen in my life. You know, like, before 5G, all my friends were just using me. And now I can connect with anyone I want in the world. Now I can see. I got... All the strings in my hand. I see everything going on. I can see, uh, uh, see, uh, I can see third, fourth, uh, fifth, third and fourth dimensional, uh, I can see electronic microwave, uh, strings, uh, radio waves in there. I can see fifth and, uh, You're all at a lower level than me now. Uh, wow, what a treat. What Thank a treat you. that was. Thank you. Um, I can't believe she spent uh, $20,000 we sent her doing uh, making that. Um, and she also well. improperly, she was uh, improperly using her truth point gun. We give all of our correspondents guns. We but do. You're not really, you're not supposed to be waving them around outside like that. No. They're strictly indoor guns. Uh, people frown on it nowadays with, you know, SJW shit. Yeah. Well, people, you know, what can what can you say? Fucking baloney. So now that nowadays they got uh, indoor and outside guns, you used to have separate guns for each location. Now you can just willy nilly go wherever you want. In my house has a gun. I got a you know a bedroom gun. I got a family room gun. I got a kitchen gun. You don't have a gun here though. I got a toilet gun. No, I, well I have a gun here, but I can't reach it right now. Why are we catching the birds with nets if you have a gun? Does it have bullets? I have like eight guns. Why 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 are we doing the net thing? Because the bullet will just poison the bird and make the meat turn into shit. It'll make the bird scared and its blood turns into poison. I don't think that's as a defense mechanism. I don't think that's how uh The sound of the gun the the sound of the gun reaches the bird's brain before the bullet does. And the the, the sound makes the bird have a fear reaction, which causes it to shit all over itself. And, and gives the, the bird, uh, PTSD. Well, yeah, we don't want that. We want, a PTSD-A, grade-A meat. Yeah. I mean, normally, the like, the birds you get at, uh, if you're at, a uh, KFC, yeah, they do everything they can to make sure those birds have a beautiful life. You know, they, they don't experience fear. They're, they're all drugged up. Their whole life is just one long trip. They inject them with heroin to calm them down. Some of them get heroin. heroin. Some of them get E. Popeyes, they do E. You know, just little bits of heroin. Not like enough to make the meat bad. But... You go to churches, it's all natural. Ayahuasca. They have all the birds are on ayahuasca. So they're shitting and puking a lot. But they're also seeing like, you know, they're traveling to different dimensions. Absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, DMT. Um, Mr. Rogan knows a little bit about this. Uh, birds that take DMT, um, it increases their breast size, uh, so you can actually get more meat out of them. That's right. And, uh, now this 4G, um... Uh, 5G. No. 4G, 5G, we're discussing it all day. It's all good. You know, I, I, I believe you have something, yeah, you have a little something prepared for us, perhaps. Do I? I don't, I don't know. Aren't you supposed to? I am supposed to, but you know, 5G, it's like the sequel to 4G, which is like an acronym for the words for good, as in a force for good, which is what 4G was, and since 5G is the sequel to that, and the law of sequels states that and the sequel to something is always better than the original thing, so 5G is a better version of 4G, which was already good, to begin with, and that's why I think it's nice. You, you're giving me a headache. Too many numbers. That's a fucking 5G energy. 
course it through your fucking skull. So you don't have you don't have anything to present? Oh I got it. I got something to present. Well just say I just say that then. Why you gotta do all well, these do, fucking well, do, do, do all these truth riddles? Bot, truth bot, truth do bot, do bot the, run the fucking second. Hurry up. Run the shit. Yes. Run it! The Malefisto. Thank you. Fucking dopes. Fucking dopes in the studio. Now let's see we got 5G. Now before uh we discuss the uh many wonderful benefits of 5G, the many uh uh the lit the lights that it, of its bounties in the Garden of Eden. Uh you know, we gotta go through this uh rigmarole, this uh user agreement shit. You know, uh, wireless devices, yeah, you very Unfortunately, you can't get service if your device isn't in range of a transmission signal. And please be aware that within your coverage area, many things can affect the availability and quality of your service, including network capacity, your device terrain buildings, and foil, 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 foilage? Is it foilage or foliage? Foilage. Foliage. And weather. And, uh, you know, if you're signing up for the postpaid service, uh, you, you gotta, uh, subscribe to either a month or month, month to month minimum contract so shown on your receipt. And, uh, once you've completed this, uh, you become a customer on a month to month basis of the service contract form in a term. And our changes, uh, you know, they include the federal universal service, the, uh, regulatory, um, administrative charges. And it may also include other charges, uh, related to governmental costs. Uh, are you, are you just are you just stretching for time? Is this? Um, no, I, I got to read all this shit. It's, the show's still only an hour. We're not doing like a four hour. Block. No, this is the fucking. It's I have to legally read this shit before I teach the uh, audience about fucking five G. You, you don't have to read. Or this. their fucking heads are liable to burst off their shoulders. Jesus fucking. Christ. Uh, continue. Accepting this agreement means you will also agree to our privacy policy available at verizon.com no, no, privacy, which describes the information we collect using no, share. The, yes, it does. It does not. No, you're invalidating the uh, the terms by you, saying you, that shit. You're respecting. Shut the fuck up. Respect. Shut the fuck up. Don't listen. How, to how do how do they know you're not lying when you agree to terms of service? I'm, I'm begging the audience to please cover your ears and if just you, look at the words. If you, Don't listen to anything if you go, he says. If you, or you're if you get arrested for violating the terms of jail. service and you're in court, you, what what do you say? You say, oh, I'm sorry. No, I love the terms of service. I don't go service. to court because I don't fucking violate the terms of service in the first place. Because I have a normal fucking brain that doesn't tell me to do that sort of shit. You can just say, look. Your service terms and conditions are part of this agreement. Your plan includes your monthly allowances and features no, it where you can use them in your coverage area. Again, no. their monthly pay. If, if you're, you're a postpaid customer, you gotta a, fucking get you, through this really fucking quick. If you're uh, allowed, services for which you are if you're allowed to, to lie if, to you, uh, you can lie to me. also a good when federal universal service regulatory and administrative charge. It's a lie. Our charges are based on related to our government costs. You may not be able to transfer or port your wireless phone number to another carrier. Port a number from U.S. will treat it as though you asked us to cancel your service for that number. Uh, what Here, I'll else? just start reading the second part to help you. Uh, Accepting this you agreement, you also be available at Verizon.com for privacy that you are any other user of your wireless device. You use and is share the information. We will notify you to ask for the appropriate if we plan to use your information for additional purposes and your responsibility to other people who connect devices through your mobile hotspot or a network. We charge you only that. If you're a postpaid customer, we don't get your payment on time. We charge you only for your if, the, uh, if you're a prepaid customer, if you're a prepaid customer, you may replenish your balance at any time before the expiration. Uh, we come without limits, limit, suspend, or end your service. 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 Or your service. Or end 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 your Promulgated, promulgated by any U.S. governmental agency and solid employer. It's not true. So you would realize whether 
you know. It's not. It's not true. It's, all, it's all true. If you sign a piece of paper, that's not. It, does, it doesn't hotel. make it. It doesn't make it shit. legal. It doesn't uh, make it legal. Thank you, five G. Thank you, five G. That's it. That's it. Yeah. Well, close your thing. That wasn't really. That wasn't really a presentation at all. I thought that was the. I thought you were reading that shit so you could do something after. Oh, uh, I. I I spent all the time, you know, pasting and copying the text into the thing, and I didn't really have time to... I'm, I'm just riffing it, you know? I'm doing, I'm doing fine. I'm doing a fine job. Um, okay, well, uh, uh I, I will do mine, then. Yeah, we'll see how good yours is. But... The presentation. No... Don't look at that. that. Oh, I don't. I don't want to see that. Don't put that on the screen. Look at look at all the uh, fucking. Uh, no, no, look at all the no, untitled. No, no, uh, guys are not even titling his images. Jesus don't, don't Christ! Look, don't look at that. Don't look at that. Don't look at that. Error. Looks nasty. Error. All right, here we go. Everybody, calm down. All right, so uh, this is called 5G. Um, wait, can I go back? In the end of the world, surprise. No. Uh, what is 5G? Well, uh, it's not something in the world, it's something in you. And it can never be truly defeated. And uh, you, might, you might be 5G this very moment. Very mysterious, right? Hold on, I'm trying to drag something around on my computer, it's not working. Fucking zoom, alright. Oops. Maybe you should have fucking titled your images and you wouldn't be getting computer errors all the time. You think that you think that's what causes computer errors? Not titling images? It's all connected. It's all, you know, it's all on the all right. cloud. So, uh, you want to know about uh, 5G. First thing you're going to have to learn about is this guy right here. Aristotle. Okay. Aristotle was, uh, those are supposed to all come in separately. Uh, basically, one of the first guys who really thought about shit. He was the first one that really considered things, you know. He was kind of a modern day, uh, or pre-modern day. He was kind of an ancient day, uh, uh, like, you know, Einstein, basically, and had all kinds of inventions. Uh, but his main invention, or his, his main uh, uh, claim to fame was his crystal ball. And it, it told him all kinds of things. It, uh, it, uh, this is the ball. It spoke to him when he dreamt, and it That's said things cool. like, it said things like, uh, you can drink cow's milk. Aristotle was the first guy to drink a cow's milk. Everyone else, uh, before, they thought the white stuff that comes out of a cow's titties uh, were just urine. But it's actually milk like you can drink from a human adult uh, female woman. Um, Aristotle was the first guy to invent milk, and then he bottled it and sold it. That's how he got rich. I mean, an udder does, looks more like a penis than it does a boob. It also fed him energy through his hands, um, and he never had to eat or uh, poop, for that matter. Um, Disgraceful. And he also used it to see the five Gs, okay? The five Gs that lead to the downfall of society. It made, because he was a bit of a, he was kind of like the modern day Nostradamus um, of his era. And the first G is uh, greed. But he didn't even wash his fucking ass. Greed is a, uh, essentially it's a sexual fetish uh, for money. You know, most rich people like these two, they don't, they don't have children because they're not fucking each other. They're fucking their money. They're putting coins in their holes. They're rubbing the money everywhere. This woman is giving oral sex to money. Um, and it leads to the downfall of societies because, uh, you know, the minute you start caring more about, uh, you know, these little, these little green pieces of paper, these dollar bills, and less about, you know, uh, getting pregnant and rearing nine or ten children, that's when society starts to collapse. Well, I think it's a shame that that woman went through all the trouble of putting money in her mouth just for you to save her image without titling it. I'm not gonna respond to your 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 heckling me right now, and you didn't even do anything. So, 
You know, you copy that off of Verizon's website. You you know, think about how all the, the work Verizon's lawyers did making that fake bullshit contract. It was good content, baby. Now, Grime is, uh, what is Grime? This is the second G. It's basically crime plus the word gross. Grime. Grime. And uh, Aristotle says there's a difference from between uh, regular crime and grime. And that, uh, you know, you commit a normal crime like jaywalking or... Uh, downloading movies, torrents, things like that. Uh, that's not really hurting anybody. But grime is a is is a, a crime that hurts somebody. This is a guy. He's about to commit suicide. It's illegal. Okay, that doesn't that doesn't just hurt him. That's why he's wearing the mask. So hurts a lot of people. Identify him. That's right. He's, you know, uh, commit suicide like a man. Take off your mask and commit suicide like a man. Yes. That's what Aristotle would say. And this man, he's about to go uh, do illegal logging, perhaps. He's got a crazed look in his eye. He's all hopped up on meth. He's like, I'm going to go fucking ooh, cut down some trees I'm not supposed to. You know, that's a grime. What else do we got here? Gore. The third, the third G. Um, you know, back in Aristotle's day, they had all these these blood games. You know, you'd go to the Colosseum and you watch guys chop each other up. Guys like this. Ooh. And Ooh. Uh, you can't you can't right have a society if everybody's chopping each other up, bathing in each other's blood, can you? Pretty obvious. This is what the crystal ball said. Glory. People like doctors, right? They're all in it for themselves. They want every... Look at me. I saved someone's life. Look at me. I cured the disease. They got their little nerdy, uh, little white suit. You know, why do they wear white? Draw attention to themselves. Captures the most light. Uh, it would look spiffy if it weren't um, worn by such an egomaniacal little punk. And then they've got their little uh, headphones... But they don't listen to music. Oh, no. They listen to your body. Very bizarre. Oh, and then we have artists like this guy. Famous New York sculptor. Gregory. You know, whoever this guy is. He's very proud of himself. I made a sculpture. He's, notice he's also wearing white. And uh, this is what I call the white plague. Oh. But only oh. because they're wearing white, not because they're white men. All right. Is this guy white? I mean, who knows? I'm not going to get we into that. No it's really, it's really not my place to say. But if if somebody knows, you know, we gotta give them the 23 me. And now we have the fifth and final G. Goblins. Um. Now back in the uh, Aristotelian age, uh, goblins were. Uh, they were more of a problem back then than they are now. They used to go around the town uh, doing graffiti on all the the uh, you know columns and stuff. Um, you'd walk down to the cellar, all the wine would be gone, and you'd say, "Son, where's where's the wine? Who drank all my wine? I was about to drink all my wine." Uh, son says, "I don't know, Dad. I guess it was goblins. Goblins used to be a big issue. They're not." Uh, really that big of a deal anymore we we destroy their natural habitat um and now we use those bogs they used to live in and we uh farm cranberries and so you know the the rise of the cranberry uh, industry has kind of seen the uh downfall of the goblin race it's not really a problem anymore but aerosol didn't foresee that in his crystal ball and uh i was also thinking about the green goblin the spider-man villain um and this is another question for the chat. You know, I'd like to involve the chat a little bit more in our, oh, don't, don't our discussions. Uh, does anybody know, know uh, what what did the Green Goblin want? Was he like was he like a Hitler guy? Like, did he want to just murder people? Because I watched yes. I watched the movie and kind of just flies around and is kind of annoying. Like, I don't know if he is he like the Joker. Yeah, he's not good. He's a bad guy. But he's not, like, taking over the world. All he has is, like, a fucking jetpack or something. He should have been paying attention to the fucking movie. Maybe you know why he's not good. Somebody tell me. 
What what is the Green Goblin's goal, and is it a reference to the historical goblins of yore? Uh, and then we have, uh, of course, uh, 5G, which is a type of uh, cell network, provides faster internet than uh, 4G, and it's it's just a coincidence that's called 5G. The G, of course, stands for giga, which means big, because it transfers big data. And uh, my present my presentation is not about this. Uh, it transfers goods into I'm your talking, computer. I'm talking about Aristotle's 5G, but I wanted to reference this because it's very popular now. And so I'll just say this really quick so you know what my position is. Um, yes, 5G is going to kill uh, a lot of people, okay? People get sick from technology. When cars were invented, people weren't used to traveling that fast. What's the top running speed? Two miles an hour, 10 miles an hour, 50 miles an hour? Cars can go way faster than that, okay? 90% of people that, that were uh, driven around over 15 miles per hour in the first cars uh, died. They couldn't handle it. Their, their soul couldn't handle it. Uh, the wheel, millions of people died when the wheel was invented. You can look at a chart. Microwaves killed who knows how many sperm so what? Is so, the weak well, and this is what I'm saying. This is what I'm saying. Do, do we want faster internet or not? How many people have to die? We will pay that price, and it will be worth it. So stop picking on 5G. It's really not a big deal. Uh, you get sick. Uh, you know, maybe you're you're not meant to uh, be with the rest of us, okay? In the post 4G world. Uh, and I have some final questions here. Uh, are we actually living in a 4G society? Is no. It? No. Well, because the goblins. We have 5G now. It's good. I'm talking I'm talking about the Aristotles. Who gives a fuck? He's dead. Uh, another option for the 5G could be gluttony, guilt. How do you think you got all that data into that crystal ball? We don't know where his... We don't know where raging? his orb is. Um, you can't get shit off that. James Cameron... Got in his little submarine and he, he went around the ocean floor. He was trying to find Aristotle's orb. Couldn't find it. Uh, and now I wrote virtual G, but I don't remember what it, it signifies. So I'm done. I'm done. You're done. Talk the bullshit out of here. Close your mouth. Hold on. I'm trying to. What are you doing? Scare. I can't no, 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 Well, fill time. You're Say pissing Truthbot off. He's, he's having an aneurysm because you're no, not no, even no, doing no, it right. No, 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 Fill time. I'm oh, filling it. Fill time. Uh, should I read more just, of Verizon.com? Just go, go, fill, fill, fill the time. How you, uh, how y'all doing tonight? You guys like that 5G? Is it good? What do you think of 5G? Talking to me? I think 5G is nice. Uh, I think it stands for five gaming, five. Let's, br let's bring graphics, up the chat. Five. Let's bring up the chat. Uh, I got the chat here. Fuck the chat. Someone says virtual gangster. Gangster. Someone says, scrolling up, there are five goblins. Who? I don't know. I I, I I I don't I don't want to read the chat anymore. It sucks. We're All done right. with goblin talk. All right. Uh, we've got a special guest here, a well-renowned professor, of general studies, a uh, truthbot. Please. Who is it? Prepare the guest. Who is it? Doctor Branson. Fuck. The remote viewing cyber interrogation cube. You know, you got you have this idea like when you're a child, you're gonna be a basketball player or an inventor, and hey, uh, you know you're 32 years old and just looking in the mirror at your own dry lips and you're. Uh, hey. Hello, How's hello. Tonight, hey. hey. Yes, hello, gentlemen. Hello. Sorry. How are you doing? Nice to have you back. We're doing all right. I, you know? I see you're not living in your car anymore. Well, no, I am also at a uh, undisclosed location i do not wish to disclose it at this who, time who are you talking to is that an undisclosed person or just this undisclosed person it would be a hint if i said who it was and then the okay. uh, location would be one step 
closer to disclose uh you know i, I don't suppose location is the undisclosed person maybe like uh your your roommate well, uh, we can say it's an undisclosed person and, 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 you know, leave it at that. You know, I don't go around telling everybody. Do you pay you guys, the undisclosed person rent or is it just a, uh... you know, I'm not on your show and I'm not talking about your guys, you know, secret bunker near Shunover Lake in Nebraska. Mother, so I'm not saying your stuff. Maybe you mother. shouldn't say my stuff, but that's fine. Uh, so Dr. Branson, I don't, I don't know if you, uh, heard any of our discussion earlier, uh, but uh, we're here talking. We're we're rapping about five uh, G. What does it all mean? You yes. Know? You know, obviously, there's like sort of the classical sense of five G, which means like uh, these different uh, ills of society. But then we also have the technological five G, which is kind of a new, uh, fun internet thing, which yes. uh, will probably make us all happy. Well, uh, do you have any thoughts or? Uh... You know, I'm I'm usually like a skeptic of the skeptics. You know, I'm. Uh, uh, what, what they might call a normal person, kind of normal thought patterns and, and rationality. People have called you that before. And, and you know, I, I, I came Me into too. this 5G thing thinking, you know, we got a, a, a huge history of people distrusting new technology, you know, Luddites. Uh, people were afraid of radio waves. People were afraid of microwaves. People were afraid of microwaves. People afraid of candy bars melting too fast and stuff like that. And, you know, they're going to go down and chop down the towers and whatnot. But, you know, it, it, it's technology kind of grows and, and, and harness itself and it's safe. And then I started looking into this 5G thing, thinking that everybody that didn't like it was a bunch of wackos and nuttos. And I think there may be something to this 5G, these high frequencies. Um, you know, in the limited amount of research I've been doing in the last couple months, as I have left, you know, the heavily populated cities to try to get away from all these signals, even something as small as this, something that is a little Wi-Fi thing, that this alone operating upwards of a meter away from your genitalia can vaporize at least a thimble full of your semen as it rests in your testicle. Oh, hell. That's not that much, though, right? That's well, it's not a lot, but, you that's know. That's like an entire ball. Let's say you have two of them. That's going to go two thimbles. And sooner or later, then you're going to have a, you know, I don't want to say a pint, but I ran out of archaic measurements, maybe a quarter of a pint. You mm. know? Mm. It's, it's, it's not good stuff. Let me, let, me, let, me, let me show you something here. All right, I spent, you know, in, 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 in the quarantine doing what everybody else did, you know, staying away. You know, I, I started measuring the effects of 5G, and I started hooking up all types of stuff around my house, just running the Internet at all hours. And you know what? After three weeks of doing that, this was my urine. Ugh. Ugh. This is what my urine looked like right then, right? Jesus Christ. Even the smell. Just, it's... Unbelievable. I, I hate to say this. I hate to say this, but as uh, you know, as a journalist, I have to say, uh, we don't know if you know. We don't really have a comparison to your your urine before that happened. So, well, you know, yeah. I, I can sh you know after I've gotten clean and stuff. But but before you know, I, I I have plenty of urine. Don't worry about that. But you know, I sent this into labs. I sent them in to study it. No one wanted to study it. They sent it back to me, or you know, a lot of times I'm just knocking on the doors of the labs and like you gotta take a look at this, and they're just like, get that yeah. out of here, get your like vinegar. Just local labs or like you know, you're just anybody I knew, the life. hobbyists, children with the little chemistry set. But I want to show you something. I've been living free and clean in wide open spaces away from all these cell towers. This is what my urine looks like now. All right. Look at and that. There's there's, a, there's much more. Well, this is that just, from is that from one trip to the bathroom or? Well, it's a, seems I, like you know the it's lack about of one, as much as I can scoop out. Much. It's about as much as I can scoop out. I didn't want to like you know. Is it I didn't, scoop out? I didn't. Well, not scoop, but you know, you kind of yeah. have to aim it weird, and so I actually lost about half of it. But Ugh. that's you know that's the a lot kind of, of stuff we're dealing with here. Obviously, you know, I am not a chemist. I can't measure the pH in it. The smell, you know, it's not good on either one, you know. I mean, I, but I have to ask, like, is there any proof? Is there any proof you can show us that having blood in your urine or having urine that's entirely made of blood is even bad? Because, like, you know, in ancient times, they used to uh, they put leeches on people's uh, necks and right. wrists and stuff, get out all the 
bad blood. Is it possible that the 5G is locating the bad blood in your body and uh, forcing it through your penis hole as if it were piss? No, blood is Gaia. It is the water of life. So you can't just look at blood and say it's all bad news. Because if, you know, I tell you what, if that's blood or something, you can put that in some sick guy or something, it'll clean them right up. But, you know, it shouldn't be coming out of there, is what I'm saying. There's no reason that that good blood should be coming out. And my personal theory, which I haven't been able to, you know, prove, but as these thimbles full of semen begin to evaporate within your testicles due to the high frequency radio waves that are suddenly striking them, well, something's got to fill the gap, right? Or else they're going to shrivel up and look like a bunch of raisins or craisins, right? So your body naturally, as a defense mechanism, starts harnessing that blood and pushing it downwards. Now, I am penning a paper on this as we speak, but that doesn't mean anyone's going to publish it or respond to my emails at this point well they have some of those websites where you can self-publish uh you can set up like a little you go to pastebin.com you can put your own articles up there nobody fucks with them the media uh, doesn't uh, fuck with them drill drill uh, published his book through one of those things right i published uh you know my own uh, obituary uh my own uh, yeah and and he's not he's not like you know that wasn't a scientifically reviewed kind of thing like your 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 thing would definitely like some scientists would probably read and go huh that's interesting well you know there's a couple magazines there's like blood magazine it's like a scientific journal on different things of blood i'm not sure if that'd be more you know what we're going for i don't know if there's any for. like come periodicals Tec that you, you know can kind of you know there's popular mechanics but they're still trying to prove that 911 was you know a regular job and seven inside one well, mechanics typically aren't popular they're usually covered in oil and they stink like hell fonzie was a very popular mechanic he could get any hot rod running so i yeah, would say that is a counterpoint one. but he's almost at the exception that proves the rule he's from a dead era so just like any any time something isn't true you can just say that that that's uh, an exception that proves the rule yeah it's a classic trick everybody says when they don't know what they're talking about that's yes. a pretty good one, Professor. It's called anecdotal proof. It's doctor. I'm not a professor anymore. Okay, we still have the, uh, I think it still says you're professor of general studies. Well, I was a professor. And then, you know, all the classes got canceled. And then, you know, it became harder to meet the students in person and then going to their homes and saying. You probably just, I mean, can't you just like go into like Omegle or I don't know if they still have chat roulette, something like that. Maybe you could just like go in there and sort of impromptu lesson. Well, you know, I was teaching some online classes and you can't really get a, a, a shape of what your students look like because it's mostly from the neck up. So, you know, I was, I was attempting to go door to door saying, you know, it, it, but, it, you know, it was a very unpopular time for for contact. And I, and I don't want to wear a mask. Right. Because it makes my skin dry. Hmm. Yeah. Is and, it, you, you got know, a little bit of dry skin right up. Or, or is that a beard or dry skin? The, the right, I got on some my, on the my lips. laptop isn't so good. I put the. Uh, it's like you have head and shoulders on, the on it. Part of your it head. Well, it's just mostly scab, but you know, you kind of can smooth it out. But either way, disbarred from my professorship, uh, you know, revoked tenure, whatnot. Uh, you know, some people say sexual harassment, some people say. People well, they're going to talk. Shame, you know? people are some people talk. don't know about it, the ones that don't say anything that happened there, you know. Oh, well, we'll anyway, we're here to talk about 5G. Next. Wrap it up. Right. Yes. Did you have any other thoughts about five G? Uh, I just say just call you, hey, a man or something. Well, I'm still like a that. doctor. You can't take that away. You have to do some. Well, can they? Yeah. They can't, they can't take that away. No, I'm pretty sure even Bill Cosby's still a doctor. That's just something that's like, um, it's like, sir. Well, that's even better than a doctor. That's for British. Oh yeah. Well, doctor. Yeah. You got anything else, doctor? Uh, five G. It's going to scramble your nuts and it's going to make you pee uh, blood. I don't know. That could be related to an entirely different thing for all we know. But, you know, there's, uh, a, there's a lot of different stuff that that fucks up your nuts. That's right. It, yeah. That's why it's so hard to um, impregnate. Um, it's probably the bullshit. Impregnate a girlfriend. They still got running, you know, the piece of shit. They, they need to take it offline. It sucks. Uh, well, we're going to get to some questions, I believe. Dr. Branson, would you join us in some questions, maybe? Yeah, why not? Yeah. Hey, Chamber, Chamber, Chamber. 
All right. Uh, I don't know why you did all that shit, Truthbot, but you didn't put up the question. What's the question? What's the, What's the question? question? I mean, we don't have anything to say. Uh, first question, do you enjoy being out in nature? This isn't related, but I, I can say, you know, being out here in this undisclosed location, uh, we've got a, there's a lot of, uh, I, I fucking hate this. wilderness around it. It's not good. Um, it does feel like I might be getting Lyme disease. I think that's just a disease you get from going outside, just from yes. like, sort of breathing the... Well, it could be a, you know, a number of, like, air of 500 trees. different diseases. Like, who the hell knows? It, it could be, like... Something's going on while these dysentery. feathers I've been eating. It could be scurvy. It could be, you know, the Black Death, the plague. But, you know, nature is just trash. The thing about nature is that the whole thing of it just sucks. You know, if you ever played, like, most video games, like, level one, the most boring, uh, bullshit level is just nature. It's grassy. You know, and that's because it's the easiest. What what game has nature as level one? Every Mario Brothers. Game ever. Mario Brothers. You know, uh, Mario isn't Brothers. isn't like every every level of Mario Brothers is outside. No, not no. some are in dungeons. That's right, some are in dungeons. I think well, dungeons I think are technically nature. And if you uh, if you really notice, the last level is it's always the best level, and that's because it's like a factory or like a space station. Like a giant crystal full of uh, ghosts. I think it's level two in and Sonic. That, it's that's what it's 5G, a, the chemical plant. 5G is basically a, a giant crystal full of ghosts, and that's why it, it, it's so good. Uh, next question. Oh, did 5G cause my wife to leave? No, I'm going to say it was your looks or your shitty personality or your dumbass mentality that made your wife leave you. Uh, so, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and, and I'm going to defer to Dr. Branson on this one. Yeah, I mean, probably, usually, 5G, you can just put that on anything. Anything goes wrong in your life, you can say 5G. You know, I didn't even go to a doctor when I started peeing blood. I just put it in a jar and started mailing it to people. You can just say things. It's great. 5G is innocent. 5G is nice. You know, 5G couldn't possibly be at fault unless maybe your wife was, like, went online and downloaded some fucking brains and decided to get a man who wouldn't, who, who would treat her right. Instead of a man who's always uh, submitting asinine questions to the Truth Point Media crew at 12 a.m. Next question. Next question. Yeah, it's a hand signal or something. How many G's does Truthbot have? Truthbot sucks. Well, I mean, if you look at the <laughs> Truthbot sucks. He sucks. He's like one G. You know. You guys ever <laughs> pop Truthbot open? You ever pop them open and see oh, what's I'd going on to. in those I'd circuits down there? No. Yeah, while well, he's still running, just no. Just, Drill, just, Drill had to pull his down his, no. uh, his, uh, his, his, what do you call it? Chassis? His pants. Well, he, he doesn't have fucking pants. He's That's a, where he keeps all the computer chips. No. He's, a, he's a computer tower. He had to hold them down and blow in there. I guess there was a bunch of Truth dust. Truthbot oh, doesn't yeah. have any Gs. He's not, he doesn't even have wireless connectivity. He's got like a fucking plug, like a microwave. That people are always tripping Three. over, and it's all like frayed and shit, and you have to like wiggle it just to get it to Three. work. You guys got to put a Hemi in Truthbot, give him a surge protector, pop That's that chassis saying. open, upgrade him, him a little bit, out, but... get him a little bit more masculine of a voice. That's right. oh, we can't. See, he's into it. That's that. That costs money. No. You know, I heard 5G will make my. Uh... Go on. Uh, balls uh, bigger or larger, and how do I prevent or encourage this? Uh, well, no, I, you know, the balls increasing in size, it's just because they're absorbing so much of that good data, and uh, this is this is something you want to encourage because you want as much data as possible to uh, conduct your daily business in life. And, uh, you know, of course, if you don't want this, you can always sign Verizon's opt-out policy and, uh, you know, an agent will come to your house and castrate you. Uh, easy peasy. One, two, three. Uh, I think the balls are kind of, uh, they're a muscle, and just like any muscle, you know, if you gain muscle. awareness of them, you they're can sort of, you can learn how to, to work them out. You can kind of, like, is they actually, it's actually two muscles, and uh, you can kind of make them go like this. Kegels. Kegels, yeah. If you get enough kegels in in a day, your balls are gonna double, triple in size. Though I don't know why you'd want that to happen. If, you do if kegels, they're, your it, balls are gonna separate and they're gonna look like a fucking hammerhead shark. 
Shrinking. Want, that's nut cleave. Nut cleave. Nut cleave. Get that nut cleavage. Yeah, you know, if they're shrinking, that means your body's running out of blood to put in that's there. The, the male thigh gap. The, the nut, yeah, yeah, it's the male thigh gap is what I was gonna say. Yeah. So you gotta you gotta get some more blood, and you gotta go out in nature. You gotta get away from the five Gs. You gotta eat some yard bird, chase down some birds, and eat them, catch them, shoot them if you have a gun. And, I, haven't, you know, I haven't measured my nuts for a couple of weeks now, but I I bet they are quite a bit quite a bit bigger, healthier, more spherical, with less of the um, you know almost completely folds. round. Yeah. My like balls have been normal balls. since birth, and they will always and, and be think, normal. And I think they've switched places. I think it's kind of like. Oh, no, that's not good. You gotta go to the doctor for that. Yeah, you gotta flip those bad boys around. That's you right. got a corkscrew going. I don't on. like to touch them. Shower? Shower? Not, not my problem. Not my uh, problem. How about these iPhone prices? In a few years, I'm gonna be paying five Gs for my phone bill. Oh, shut the fuck up, dude. They're now very... that's funny. They're very reasonably plurized. I don't even know why you'd we can say have a, that. We can have a little bit of fun here. No, we can't have fun. It sounds like this guy's punishing success. Uh, but what do I know? You know, I'm just a fucking uh, content creator who apparently can't say anything without being told I'm wrong. You know? That I'm corrupt and I'm full of shit and that I should be shot with a crossbow. I don't think anyone hears. Did Dr. Branson say that? I, I, I was... That's what people are saying, you know, out there. I was kind of uh, spacing out there for a minute. I hope you guys have a cross at that undisclosed location so that uh, you can climb up that. This guy. What? What do you mean? We like to have fun here. Or we like, there. To, have a little, we, we like to have a little bit of fun in both places that we both are. In the separate locations we are, we like to have fun. I don't like to have fun. Next question, please. What is your five guys order? That is a different kind of 5G. Hey, in prison, stupid. you ever hear that? Uh, was it in prison, Jared Fogel? Right, he's gonna get a different kind of five G. No, you know that uh, riddle joke. Yeah, they're saying he's gonna get raped, is what they're saying. It's not good. Oh, what? I think that's what it is. It's, you know, it's like a, a rape joke. No, I don't. I don't think so. No, it's it would. I don't think it'd be so popular if that's what was going on with that that saying. You know what? Think... Jared Fogel actually did lose his doctor because of all that funny business he was doing behind the scenes at Five Guys. Oh, he used to be Dr. Jared. Yeah, Fogel. so now that I think about it, I don't know how Cosby got away with it. Oh, yeah, that's, that's true. Uh... The fuck was he a doctor of anyway, Cosby? Family-friendly comedy. 4G until he brought back the girl with the ass on the TV. and. Uh... Oh, yeah. How will the anti 5G uh, environment respond? Uh, I can't fucking see this shit. Uh, you know, uh, anti 5G, they show their ass metaphorically with every embarrassing statement that they publicly make. And so I wouldn't worry about them not having an people, ass to show. I'll say this people follow their dicks, and uh, women follow their. Uh, uh, butts. They're maybe. Well, guys have butts too. Ah, shit. Kitties, maybe. You know. These anti-5G folks, they're so fucked in the head that if they did show an ass, I imagine it wouldn't be very good. I imagine it would be like... People are going to see this smoking hot woman. With like a fucking one little square of toilet paper. We've, all, we've all seen the lady, okay? We all know she's very attractive, okay? Who else is attractive? Uh, the insurance girl? The uh, M&M's. The, the, the green M&M? The, uh, lipstick. Uh, the brown one. Dr. Branson, help us out here. Lola Bunny. I don't discriminate. Uh, uh, I mean, you get Lola Bunny out in front of Huawei. There's probably some sort of female Daffy Duck. Oh, is there? Probably on is like there? a duck tail. Yes. One of the extended cuts. Well, I gotta look it up. And yeah. you'd watch that on I mean, the television. That, I mean, you know, and I'm sitting here as a, as a red-blooded American male, and I'm and like... They walk by. Girl duck. <laughs> Uh, 5G is so good, then why isn't there a, a 6G? That's fucking stupid to even think about. It's it's coming, you know. It's not coming. It's you know, coming. 5G is so good. They, just, no announced, need. they just announced. No need. They just announced PS5. They just announced PS5. And I I remember when PS. I remember when I remember when PS2 was coming out, and I said, "Fuck that! I'm not going to be upgrading my PS every other year. I'll wait for PS5." It's fine, you know. But, uh, you know, 5G is so good, you couldn't possibly improve it without, like, fucking tearing a fucking hole in space-time and dooming us all, you know? 5G is already so good that the human brain can't even process it at fucking 10% capacity. 
You know, they'd have to invent a new kind of uh, human brain in order to even make 5-6G necessary, you know? Trying to make it at the Large Hadron Collider, right? There in Switzerland. And they're playing God, and they don't care about Joe Everyman, Joe Sixpack oh, down on Main Street trying to get a cheaper thing. Domino's pizza. All they want to do is make their money and play God. Yeah, I wish I could go there. Yeah. They should open that up to the public. Why haven't they invented the God particle yet? Why? Why are people asking what they're fucking doing with all this money? Uh, what does this say? I can't fucking read it. You gotta click it. I'm concerned about the possibility of 5G attracting orcs. In the uh, seminal Joel papers, Dr. Joel proved the link between 5G orcs and increased testicular mass. I don't want 5G in my neighborhood for these reasons. Well, that's fucking stupid. Well, you got better get a big aluminum foil dome. Block that shit out. If you have one handy, that's great. I was trying to be sarcastic, but now you say it out loud, it actually sounds like a really good idea. I don't think 5G wants this guy in its neighborhood. I, I don't I don't think you gotta worry about orcs. I think goblins are more the... I mean, I, I don't know if they're related or... Uh, Dr. Branson, I don't know if you know about orcs and goblins, like what the differences really orcs are stronger they have more uh proclivity to wearing denim than goblins do goblins are goblins more of a canvas are fucking nerds they're weak bags sacks of grain uh, khakis yeah orcs are more jean jacket jean shorts tevas they've got probably like a fucking japanese raw denim over here the orcs like wearing those shoes that have the five uh toes Oh yeah, the Vibram Five Fingers. Orcs are the army, and goblins are the air force. And they and they probably read a bunch of articles that are like, uh, yeah, it's actually better for your feet. That's like. And they oh, take man. them off, it's and nerdy. that that sucker stinks. So Terrible. that's the only difference that I know of. I have a five G router for the past four years. I do not have Corona. May have been immunized, 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 immunized me to it. Anyway, I believe it gave me IBS and anxiety. Unfortunately, the 5G is way faster and makes browsing Twitter four hours a day much easier. What should I do? You should keep reading that good shit on Twitter, you know? As anyone I... with uh, anxiety knows, reading posts is the only way to cure it. Uh, you go out into the cruel, cold world, and you come home, and you see all those posts by the guy pretending to be a fucking dog on there. They say, you know, maybe the world isn't so cruel cool after all. That guy running maybe the, I deserve uh, to be calm. the sausage-based Twitter account, you know. You go on there and he says, like, hey, guys, uh, let's examine our privilege. You know, he'll say something really funny like that. It's like, thank you, sausage-based fucking frozen product. They say, hey, boys. Let's this hel this helps me. Right this now. makes me not want to fucking kill myself. Let's make, take thank the you. No penis pledge. You know, it's 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 uh, if you got IBS, it's really not a problem at all because it's fun to go to the bathroom and you can go to the bathroom and go to Twitter and you can go to the like, you know, the Sunny D account and whatever you know, forty-two year old pedophiles running it, telling you to wash your hands. You know, that's just you. You just enjoy sitting on the toilet for three, four, sometimes five hours a day. There's nothing wrong with it. Hey, what else would you be doing anyway, huh? Since 5G started, I noticed I, uh, the guys come at me with tranquilizers, some sh stupid shit. I get run over by a van. It's, it's really annoying. Any recommendations or workarounds or life hacks to stop this? No, you just gotta run, you know? Pump them That's legs. not related to 5G. It's not related to 5G. It's just... Move to a better neighborhood. My, you're just out, some kind of criminal. Out here in the woods... Uh, there aren't any roads, there aren't any vans, we have not been getting run over by any kind of vehicles. You need to, like, tone down the government dissent online, maybe, and maybe they'll stop fucking shooting you. Dr. Branson, you ever get run over, or, or hit somebody, even? Like, oh, no, I have my license revoked long time ago. Is that the same time as your professor thing? They revoke it in the same, uh... Yeah, they kind of just did a blanket, nah. -uh. I was yeah, just the judge there. You know, the judge too. in his classic outfit, and he's banging. He's like, nah. -uh. And, you know, gun, uh, ID. Like, you, you're out of here. Yeah. They they sent you out. They said, that guy's nothing get except for a doctor. Ship they said, out. you, get next, next you come and in your was gigantic Fogel. jar of piss need to get out of my courtroom. 
Uh, oh, here's one for Dr. Branson. This is horrible. What is he saying? Can you read it? Do you want me to read it? Yeah, Somebody why not? It's for you. Dr. Branson, my ass is abnormally large. My physician estimates it constitutes half of my entire body weight. And I love it this way. I love my big honking ass and the way it jiggles like a bowl full of jelly when I walk around town and the way I can knock people over if I'm not careful. Well, I, it doesn't. it's not really a question. It's more of you just enjoy your big ass. And uh, if you, I, you know, I don't know if you want advice or feedback or what, but you just sound like a nasty person with a, with just a nasty outlook on life. And you should get some sprays, some like odorizing sprays and talcum powder, because it sounds like you enjoy it, but I don't think other people would. Up right there, don't talk about powders, don't talk about asses. That guy who submitted the question is watching this right now and pulling his old pud. Is he a uh, troll? Like the donut size, you know, whacking it right now as you're talking about his ass. Did I get trolled? You got trolled. Oh, I don't think so. I, I think I think I think they just they wanted well, to make it's sure. Not technically, a troll. I, doing there, it for there, there wasn't really purposes. a question, but I think but like got caught, he the, the implication was sort of like, uh, is it okay to knock people over with my ass? Um, and I think it is as long as you know they're they're into it probably fine it's not good it's assault it's a crime well thanks everybody have a good one